and green they go. Lars Steger in the centre off your picture with the white sleeves. Leaves the line, they're all the way safely. Who is going to win the drag race up to the first corner? Martina Berta as ever is up and amongst them, as is the overall title holder, Puck Peterson. Immediately in a very slippery descent. Oh. Puck Peterson over that big rock. Two line choices through this section on the start loop then. Berta leads them. There's Fry. Rispitz. Martina Berta leading the race. Peterson brings the hands in towards the stem and just look at her close in that gap down just reels her back in again Jenny Rysvets from third place in a fry and fourth Puck Peterson off Ooh. just about yeah yeah struggling and <laughs> running slippery conditions well if there's somebody who can master the art of off and running it you see they change really? the course a little bit a oh, little bit fresh grass for more grip and also here they're widening it a little bit more on this side but the riders are still riding in that middle part. Look, she's right with Bert. She's actually past Bert at the top of that. Yeah, this she's is strong. This is where it's important to have coaches, team managers out on the course to say, hey, they did change this course on the climb, so look for those grass patches. Bert oh, oh. doesn't fancy it. Off See, on foot, and there's nowhere to put your feet, never mind your tires. Especially not with these shoes on these rocks. Rispids going for it. Well, Lecomte, Lecomte going for it. See, there's Batten. Oh, oh. Pierce uh, losing time here. She does not want to walk down this. You can tell, and she's struggling to try to get in her pedal, but she just couldn't. So here we go. Oh. No, she. Look she's at that. Not for, in her, is she in her pedal? Look at that but for a remind in the middle really, of a rock section. Wow. She's really quick to find her pedals. So Berta. Yeah. Luan Lecomte. Oh. Look at Luan Lecomte through here. That's the second place already for Luan Lecomte. Put Peterson on foot there as well. Pe oh, Peterson. so slippery. So slippery, oh these God. sections. That's the beeline of that main rock where we saw the crash of Carter Woods. Never. And here comes Lecomte, though. And it's on the descent. So Puck Peterson across the river crossing safely, but she's going to have Loana Lecomte for company very, very shortly. There is Lecomte on the full suspension bike. First time we've seen her on that rear yeah, puncture for Lecomte. Points to the rear some, tire. Some work for the mechanics oh, in the no. tech zone. Oh, no, because she was going so fast, but she's paid the price. Lecomte who has that soft rear tire. She will have to but change she didn't it. she almost lost anything. She's she actually gained time on the back of her. <laughs> More Here traction. we go. Staying calm and just staring at that back wheel, watching her rivals blast by her. But meanwhile, back at the front, Puck Peterson. Even the gear's oh. not right. And the gear's not right. Lecomte off and away again, but that oh, cost her. Just in front of that steep bridge. So much time. No problems. By our screen, she's in 10th, blasting back through the pack now, Luana Lecomte. A disadvantage into an advantage as Puck Peterson dabs a foot on the way through here. In this next technical section, this track keeps on swinging Whoa. at you. Wrong foot off the pedal, doesn't slow her down too much. There is Luana Lecomte and she's bringing Rebecca Henderson and Lyra Steger with her. <laughs> Lecomte looking like she's out for a Sunday ride, sat up. <laughs> 35 seconds now. Yeah, that's a strong chase group. Lecomte right with Berta now, fourth and fifth place. Battle Royale at the minute. Oh, Luana looking so good, accelerating past Haley Batten. Lecomte goes past Batten, up into third place. 29 seconds back. Risp is in trouble oh. here as well in the top tube, needs to get off it. No, back in the seat. Wow. Wow. Look at Luana Lacombe through these rock sections. So composed. Puck Peterson still moving forward. There's but there's Rispids. Already. Oh, first. Rispids getting a big bubble there, but stays clipped in, stays pedaling. That was an amazing save. Sometimes you just have to keep riding. Yeah, Jenny that's, Rispids. That's the best thing. So comfortable clipped in. Oh. oh, wow. So that's nearly 10 seconds she's put into them in that one sector. So Lacombe hurtling towards the front of this one. Tick off the laps one by one, but she's riding herself back towards the front of this one. Jenny Rispins looks like she means business though. Yes. Yeah, I mean between Luana Lecomte and Pauline Van der Voort, it's not that much in between these two. The numbers one and two of world championships. Pauline sometimes a little bit stronger than Luana is, but Luana younger. And they are back together at the front. What do you do now if you're Luana, Leah? 
I think I take a moment to relax and recover and draft, especially on this. I had to correct Sam Gears on this last week. He always uses this word relax as well. It's not really <laughs> relaxing, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Everything is relative in cross-country racing. Yep, Lecomte to the front now. Luan Lecomte looking super strong here. Just for a bit of context as to how fast these riders are pushing at the front. Fourth place, Martina Berta is 45 seconds off the lead of Luan Lecomte on lap three out of five. A little bit of a mistake again from Luan Lecomte, which cost her a few seconds. Oh, and Puck takes the lead again. Does it again, Peterson. Lecomte stayed on the bike, so let's get a head to head of what that's worth on track. Look how hard Lecomte has to work to get that bike turned 180 degrees. Resved's off and running too. Resved's looking like she's got a battle on to stick with these two. Look at Lecomte. Look at Luan Lecomte at the top oh. of this climb, just spins out. Now everyone is off their bike and running. Oh. Peterson, Risfids, Lecomte, lead. Martina Berta's fourth, one minute 11 back now. That's the speed these three are moving at. Neff making another move on foot. So whatever it takes for Yolanda Neff to get to the front of this race. And now it's Lecomte. Lecomte at the front, thanks to that descending. And she's disappearing now. Jenny Risfids needs to get the Magnus on. Puck Peterson needs to do something about this attack as well. So there's the difference between the A line in that section and the B line. So Puck took the B line. That kind of thing over the course of a race will add up that water splash. Hopefully, whoa, oh, the comp oh, down at the oh. bottom of that wrist fence down. The comp smiling as she gets up. Oh, and wrist is not heads back Riff out. Not the wrist fence ran down because of Luan. The comp to crash in front of her. She took, she used her brakes and then she was sliding immediately. And that's the brought Peterson back towards the front now. Lap and three out of five then for the overall. If the comp wins this one, and it's a big if. She will finish second if Mona Mittervalner finishes fifth or worse. Mittervalner in a world of trouble at the minute. These two racers can feel that they have put some time into puck. I, they already had a gap on the bottom of that descent when they crashed, so... Yeah, I'm wondering how long uh, <laughs> Jenny Wissfeld can stay with Luana Lecomte. It looks like Luana Lecomte is a little bit stronger. So are we about to see Yolanda Neff move into third yeah, place? Again, again, yes, she's, she's waving again. But there is Yolanda Neff. 108. 108 back. So she slowed slightly, but she could be about to get that third position if Cook Peterson has to come in and change a rear tyre. As Luan Lecomte, nonetheless, will bother her. She's out front, and it looks like she's beginning to distance Jenny Risfit slightly now. She doesn't feel any pressure at all. Well, that's where she crashed a couple of laps ago with Jenny Risfit. Not that you'd ever know it, Luan Lecomte. She's had a rear wheel change as well. Up on that, well, what's left, I was going to say grassy bike, what's left of the grass up there, but she's stretching the elastic knife. 27 seconds is the gap back to this woman, Jenny Risfit. 26. Okay, well, Jenny, yep, she makes it through easily. Oh, Yolanda. Yolanda Neff, eyes up, T5, ready to go. Oh, and she has closed that gap now. It's at, oh, it's remaining at 30 seconds. The oh. Lecomte bike turns left there when she needed it to commit to this line. It's so slippery with oh, all that mud on this bends rock. her shoulder around that tree, keeps the canyon moving, just and looking down the, at the yes. bike. It looks like her bike was like, do we have to go down this again? And she was like, yes, we do. Luan Lecomte leads the way here ahead of Jenny Risfit. Puck Peterson, Yolanda Neff, Martina Berta in fifth. Berta, two minutes 43 back off the French woman who leads this race. Puck is putting a move on Very Yolanda good. Neff yeah. currently. She has to, she knows as well. Are. She knows there which tactics. Yeah. 186, 185. Heart rate. A high heart rate for Puck Peterson. Yeah, yeah. But Yolanda Neff looking up for this one. Here she comes then, your winner today. The winner of the UCI World Cup Finals, Luana Lecomte, has been marvellous in the mud, superb in the slick. Luana Lecomte takes the win in Mont saint anne Never, never look back, Luana Lecomte. Incredible descending throughout.
Jenny Risford was with her for most of it. Valiant, valiant effort in second. Best we've seen her in cross country Olympic this year. Oh, look at this. Two competitors who give absolutely everything to the racetrack today. Double title holder, Puck Peterson. <laughs> Celebrates third place. Luan Lecomte takes the win in Montsaint Anne. Lecomte, Risford, Peterson, Neff, and Berta. Your top five. Look, Peterson, look what it means for the Alvis and the Koenig superstar, European Continental Champion, UCI World Cup Cross Country Short Track Overall Champion, and now the UCI World Cup Cross Country Olympic Overall Title.